What's up everybody, it's Valky we're gonna take a look at Quake Champions. This is kind of like one of the first looks. We're gonna take a look at the champions in the game. So if you played any previous Quake games, you know that anything other any any other heroes or any champions that you see in the game is pretty much a cosmetic skin. Um, and there was not really any differences between them, or well, the health was the same, or the armor was the same. Uh, however, in Quake Champions, the heroes, or the champions, I keep saying heroes because of Overwatch, are um they have their own abilities and they have different health and armors and speed. So we're going to take a look through them, starting off with Ranger. Now, Ranger, let's take a look at his ability. So it's called Dire Orb. So what the Dire Orb does, basically, is a little orb that can go out and can explode on any surface. Or he can use it to transport. So you can see in the little videos an example of how the orb will work. So you can see he's throwing the orb out and then you can basically transport over to it by tapping F. Now, you can also use the orb if it hits the floor, it can explode and do damage to an enemy if they're in the surrounding area as well. Again, an example video here where you can see the orb was put out and then I think as it explodes, as it hits the floor, it will then explode. I don't think it's triggered by F. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, 100 health, 25, 75 armor, 320 on speed. Uh, and passive ability is son of a gun reduces self damage by 25% which is good for for example uh, Rocket jumping which uh, is something quick that you'll find a lot of to get to higher levels especially when uh, Cold damage spawns or if you need to go up to get health or so on uh, All right, so we can take a look at the next series scale bearer So 150 150 health 25 75 armor and actually is slower than ranger by 300 uh, instead of 320 on speed Passability is heavyweight. Once scale bearer's speed reaches 400 units per second, his momentum will cause him to damage enemies he collides with. Higher speeds causes greater damage. So this is something which is great to be in conjunction with Bull Rush. So Bull Rush, if you watch the video, basically makes him speed forward in a massive rush, and you will increase in speed the longer you go. And as you get to that, ex that speed, the 400 speed, you will start killing slash damaging enemies if you hit them, as exampled in the video here. Uh, next one is Visor. Visor with a 125, 125 health, 2550. It's actually less armor and same speed as Scalebearer. Uh, Passability is Grasshopper. Visor has the ability to strafe jump. Uh, this ability isn't capped, meaning he can accelerate almost indefinitely. So he can literally continue his speed going forward. Uh, and Piercing Sight. So Piercing Sight is basically a wall hack. So pretty, pretty straightforward on that one. All right, so that is uh, Visor. Anarchy, so 75, 75 health, so actually lower health. Speed is the same speed as uh, on the Ranger. And 2550 armor, which is a little bit less from uh, Ranger. He has 75, yeah, he does. Right, so injection, so possibility is Hoverball Pro. Shut up. Hoverball Pro, Anarchy can control his hoverboard in the air, allowing him to make sharp turns at high speeds, so he can kind of air strafe and injection so simply this injection gives him uh, full health put an extra boost of health and also a speed boost for five seconds so that's pretty nice that when the I think it's is it a minute a minute cooldown that's a pretty it's a pretty cool um, ability it's very new for quake if you played previous quakes without all the abilities this is a very new thing that you're coming across right now on quake uh, let's have a look at Nyx. Alright, 75, 75 health, so same health as uh, as your boy, Anarchy. 25, 50 health. 330, actually faster speed. Fastest speed that we've seen out of the champion so far. Ghost walk, so possibility is wall jump. So Nyx can actually jump off the wall and jump off. Uh, and ghost walk is uh, her ability. So this is a really cool ability. Passing into another dimension, going invisible. Uh, what's really cool is if you uh, materialize where the enemy is, then they will instantly die. Uh, checking out the video, see so he goes invisible as he charged towards uh, Nyx. And it's a pretty freaky ability. Like when I've been playing in death matches and suddenly a Nyx goes invisible, it's, it's like, damn, son. Like you, you, like like the video, you have no idea. It kind of brings a, a strange new element to Quake. All right. Let's check out Sawlag. So Sawlag, 150, 150 health, 50, 100 armor. Uh, and 280 speed, so much slower than the rest. Uh, Passability, two passives. We've got Bunny Hop, continuously, continuous jumping in one direction will increase Solak's speed. Uh, acid, acid Fiend, 
Sorlag is immune to acid damage, so another Sorlag. And the ability is Acid Spit. So Sorlag spits blobs of acid at our enemies, burning their flesh and poisoning them with its toxicity. The acid sticks to surfaces, poisoning anyone who touches it. As exemplified in the video. So you see how she put the acid on the floor, enemy jumped up and was then damaged by it and finished off with the rocket. Uh, clutch. Alright, clutch 150, 150, 50, 100 on the armor, 280 speed. Two passive abilities, first one is advanced shielding, clutch received 20% damage reduction while walking or standing still. And acceleration, running forward without charging, <coughs> excuse me, running forward without changing direction will cause clutch's speed to increase and ability is barrier so basically clutch has a barrier which de uh, deactivates once shooting but will deflect all weapon fire um there's a cooldown on this so you, there's a usage time and a cooldown of 39 seconds now i have noticed on the floor there's these little like um egg timers that are spinning around and i think they decrease the time that you have to wait for your ability to cool down Me next one is galena beg for forgiveness so 100, 100. So uh, 25, 75 uh, armor, 280 on the speed. Passive channeling. Galena can reduce the cooldowns of her ability by collecting any health pickup. That's pretty cool. Uh, and holy totem as well. So this is a this is one of the the strange ones that I was looking at. So basically, the totem gets placed and it can heal her allies and damage her, damage her enemies. Uh, the totem will vanish if the enemy triggers or destroys it. Uh, so if it explodes. Uh, and, but it also becomes inactive if it heals an ally. So it's a bit. This is this is a bit of a strange one. Quite interesting. So I guess. Yeah, there you go. You can see the video of it healing up the ally, and then it will become deactive, right? Okay, so this is this one. Like I was looking at the video before making the video, and I was just thinking to myself, it's a, it's a bit of a strange one. It's a bit. Of a, it's more for uh, team game TDM. I guess in uh, Deathmatch, you would only help to heal herself up, but not sure if it would be as effective as, unless you're playing like Anarchy, for example. And slash, like slash 100, 100, 100 health, no armor, 310 speed, uh, passability, crouch slide. Slash can perform a crouch slide by crouching uh, just when she lands on the ground after jumping, and she has plasma trail. Now, this is a really cool one. So, you can leave a trail of plasma behind you that you can then uh, explode. So, in the video, you can see a bit of a trail on the floor. And then, using the ability again, explodes it for anybody who's chasing you. And what's cool, anywhere that she jumps as well, the trail will follow. So, for example, uh, in the video in a second, you'll see uh, rocket jumps as Slash is putting down her uh, plasma trail. And what will happen is that the plasma trail will actually follow her route that she's going. So, these are a few examples of it being used. Now this is, like I say, adds a different element to Quake, where you have to be really careful of these. This is something that you never had to think about before in Quake. Now I know the game was developed with uh, a lot of the pro Quake players, so they would have, you know, had input into these kind of abilities and the uh, and what their thoughts were to, to adding this sort of stuff into a Quake game where originally it was just, like I say, cosmetic skin. Skins were just cosmetic, you know. All of these, all of these champions were skins before. Um, where you could play them, but they were just visual, you know. But now, each of them have a, has a meaning, you know. They have different health and different armor and different abilities. And it adds that extra dimension of Quake that you've got to keep an eye out for. Well, anyway, this was the uh, the first look at the champions. Currently, I only have two unlocked, so it's a shame that I can't show you the abilities in action. But once I unlock them, I'll be making videos on them as well. So if you uh, enjoy... If you love Quake, if you're from, uh, if, you, if you're uh, subscribed because of Overwatch and you like Quake as well, this is going to be good for you because I, I, I personally love Quake. I'm going to be continuing doing the Overwatch videos, of course, but Quake is something which I'm very passionate about because it's something I grew up with as well. And it's one of the reasons I love Pharah because of the rocket launcher, for example. The rocket launcher in Quake was kind of my first uh, experience of shooting a projectile weapon and learning how to play with a projectile weapon. Um, but yeah, guys, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and I'll be back again for more Overwatch and Quake videos.